Friends, I'm going to fly through last weekend's book review in the Wall Street Journal with a universalist perspective. We universalists believe the true word of God is Christ on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. Our God is all merciful. We believe our God created everything and will save everything. All right, and just appreciate the titles, the um, quotes, everything. It, it, there's just so much here. In search of the overstory, today's popular journalism has a besetting flaw, the search for a single pattern to explain divergent phenomena. Again, Christ on the cross. We don't know what we're doing when we try and find cause and effect for everything. Revenge of the tipping point. A quarter of a century later, ideas that seemed illuminating and empowering have turned treacherous and dark. From the shadows of great men, the Enlightenment's most dangerous woman. Fascinating. Portrait of Gabriel Emil. Um, what was gravity? How did it really work? She knew that Newton didn't have all the answers. Tevi Troy, the author most recently of The Power and the Money, the epic clashes between commanders in chief and titans of industry. Uh, let's quote John Rockefeller. The ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity. I will pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. And he reviews these classic books. Titan, Henry Ford, Mr. and Mrs. Hollywood, Iacocca, Atlas Shrugged. This tale starts with DNA, the genetic book of the dead. Fascinating. The history of life can be seen as an unfinished novel. Revisions can be surprising and dramatic. Um, yeah, computer image of DNA-based sequences. A Sovereign in the Sky, The Art of Medieval Falconry. The ability to handle a hawk was once seen as an analogy for being able to rule a state. Bird of a Feather, an illustration of a gyre falcon, 1853. And then we get back to Du Chalet, a female among the philosophers. Partners, a portrait of Voltaire and Emile uh, de Chalet, 1750. Um, yeah, fascinating story. Brothers and rivals. Patriotism cannot be our final spiritual shelter. My refugee, my refuge is humanity, to Gore quote. And so under fiction, we have these new books, Quarter Life. I remember Fallujah. Immersion, an idol of the Hindu deity Ganesha during the final day of the festival in 2017. I really like this one. When your number comes up, hear one moment. Let's read the last paragraph. By turns big-hearted and sardonic, hear one moment, ponder such imponderables as free will, providence, love, death, and actuarial tables. All right. A magical dip in the ocean. Again, whenever we hear magic, mystery, mystical, uh, mysterious, the Life Impossible, reviewer concludes, but it is Mr. Haig's gift to conjure a protagonist so worth rooting for. And there's nothing paranormal about that when you see the word paranormal. Think spiritual. A center with conviction. There are really only two plagues, Romeo and Juliet, and put the darn ball in the basket. This is Abe Lemons. quote. Dream, the life and legacy of Akeem Elijahwan. A towering figure, yet balletic on both ends of the court, Elijahwan was serious about blocking shots and about his religious faith, as was the greatest boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali, right? Um, but even Matumbo acknowledged the singular importance of Elijah Wan. Hakeem was and still is very much the face of African basketball, he told Miss Fader before his death. Or as an executive with the NBA's training program in Africa put it, Hakeem was a dreamer. He gave everybody permission to dream. And then under mysteries, we have Midnight in Blue, Squeaky Clean, Lemons Never Lie. Getting back to uh, often uh, reality stranger than fiction. History through the grapevine, Italy in a wine glass. Horace said, no poems can please for long or live that are written by water drinkers. <laughs> Crowns of vines, details of fresco from Pompeii showing Bacchus, the Roman god of wine. The story of winemaking is also the story of the Mediterranean Peninsula, where it has been an art for thousands of years. Then finally, listen up for some wild talk. 
eavesdropping on animals. The woods aren't always a quiet place. Many prey species count on chatty birds to warn of threats. This review ends. This book is a tantalizing guide to revamping our approach to wild things in the hope of a deeper communion. Again, communion of all things in the creation of God.